So guys, welcome to my first pad guide. And most anticipated, most requested, I have to do spotlight and blackout first. Everybody's been asking me to do those guys first. With blackout for me, a no-brainer. As always, I love your feedback, my fans. I love, I read all the feedback. I'm sorry, I don't have the time to answer everybody these days, but I read it. People told me, tough luck has got to be on the shadow pad. I was wrong. Kaboom, I have to switch them also because somebody said the rocket jump pad was better. I got to I gotta experience it because I actually, with tough luck, I kind of feel bad. And she, I got to try the other pad. Anyways, but I did this one. If you watched the video before, I did thoroughly and I played for an hour without you guys watching. And uh, I, I made my decision. First off, for a couple of simple reasons, I like the orbs. I like the warp zone with the orbs that do much damage. Spawn those orbs, it's insane. They do so much. I just like it. And I like the charge up and to fly and to kill enemies and to do damage while flying. You don't get hit when you do that. And it's fun. Doesn't last long, but I love it. Because you spam the orbs. Then you fly over the whole party. It's an epic show to watch how much damage you do. But the best way, spawn the warp zone and shoot the orbs at it. And you will see. It will do much more damage also. So, the other part why I like this pat more is jump and grind and turn into a blade and you can just drive around it does a 20 point damage but it's fun I just like it you don't get damage when you do that you never get hit so it's it's obvious to me guys like I said leave me your feedback Prince of Darkness is the best pat because once the the one the other pat is close combat damage and you get killed really fast because he only has 25 of defense 25 24 24 he's not fully upgraded there but the stats won't change 24 so here's my pad guide here is my s blackout pad guide wing whip oh that's the thing though the wing whip on the other pad does a lot well 25 points more damage but i like it but it's close combat when you get whacked in the face he dies easily and fast maybe if he was level 20 maybe it would last longer but it goes for both paths. So, wing whip, press square to perform a wing whip, press square, square, square for a combo attack. Shadow orbs, press circle to shoot shadow orbs, which leaves behind darkness energy shockwave, which I use all the time. Uh, black hole, press triangle to open up a black hole that pull enemies in. Hold and release to teleport yourself. I don't really do the teleportation, but by accident, you kind of do it sometimes, so it's cool. Darkness Overload. Shoot a shadow orb into a black hole to create an explosive eruption. Very, very important to do those. Then we have Shadow Blade. Jump and press square to turn into a spinning shadow blade. That with the other path, the blade wing path, whatever you want to call it, it cancels that. It cancels that. You lose that. So take it black. Black holes hold enemies longer and they do more damage. So yeah, like I said, the combo is just a cool combo. Yes, it does more damage because whip it up, increase your blade, sharp blade attack and everything. And the warp speed thing is cool. It does 100 point damage every time you zip through enemies. But once you stop zipping through, you always end up right in the middle of the enemies and they kill you in one shot. I'm just saying. So, dark energy clouds, shadow orbs explode into massive dark energy clouds which damage enemies. Then we have under cover of darkness, blackout receives less damage when inside dark energy clouds, which you are in because you spam so much of those, you're always surrounded by those, so this is very useful. And the cloud gravity one, I just, I just love it. I love it more than this. It does an overall all around 40 point damage while you're flying to everybody this does 100 really fast 40 points you can see him spamming 40 40 40 super fast so hold circle to lift enemies inside a dark energy cloud and damage all nearby enemies and you have the supernova black hole i don't really use it i 
didn't really see the damage in that. You pretty much waste your time in putting your black, your, your warp thing at the same place. So you kind of cancel this one out while doing this. Well, I don't use it. Supernova black hole. Shoot two black holes on top of each other to create a supernova black hole. I didn't really use it. I don't see the point of doing this. So guys, like always, leave comments down below. Let me know what you, once you have this figure, what you have chosen. I always love your feedback and I enjoy reading them. Let me know. But for me, Prince of Darkness all the way.